Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on Center Stage, Nonprofits of Tucson. We talk to different nonprofits that are making a difference here in our community. And I am going to tell you, we have a full house today. We have got several people that are in here and we are going to have a great show. So I'm going to go ahead and let everyone introduce themselves real quick before we get started on the topic of the day. My name is Stacy Mockby. I am the kids director at Life Point Church and on the leadership team for Tim Tebow's Night to Shine in Tucson. Hi, I'm Amy Sislak. I'm the president elect of the Junior League of Tucson and the chair of Cinderella's Closet. My name is Terry Tejas and I am the president of the Junior League of Tucson. And I'm excited to be here. My name is Janet Hale and I am the director of Luke 5 Adventures Tucson. Thank you all for being here. This is the most people I've ever had in here, and so it's going to be an exciting show. I know it. So we want to start out by talking about an event that has kind of brought you all together and that everyone here is representing the same event as well as the nonprofits that they're working with. And so let's start out with Stacy. Can you tell us a little bit about A Night to Shine? Yes. Um, this is an event that is sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation. It's a one night event, a prom for people with special needs or who experience disability who are ages 14 or older. This will be the eighth year that we're doing this in Tucson and the 10th year worldwide. Um, it's a night where over 600 churches around the world will be celebrating people who have special needs or who experience disability. Wow. The eighth year in Tucson? Yes. And the 10th year overall. That's exciting. Yes, it's so, very much fun. How many people attend this event? In Tucson, we typically have around um, 300 guests, as many as 300 guests, and then usually about that many parents or caregivers who attend with over 500 volunteers. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of people crazy. all in one place. That is really awesome. Can you tell us a little bit more about... Who attends? Um, you said 14 and older. Yes. And so adults as well as teenagers yes. are attending this prom-like event. Um, tell us just a little bit about who is attending and how they're able to register if they want to attend. This is for anyone who experiences disability and who is 14 or older. We have had guests um, in their 90s who have come to their first prom ever. That is the coolest thing ever. Yes, it's very <laughs> cool. It's very cool. And um, so they can register by going to uh, the Journey Church website, which is journeyefc.org. And uh, they're one of the sponsoring churches along with Life Point Church, which is what I represent, and Hope Community Church. And is it one single event in Tucson then? It is. We, we all converge on Journey Church at 4700 North Swan and um, take over their property and have the night of our lives. And can you tell us a little bit more about what this night looks like? Our guests arrive to um, a red carpet entrance where they're partnered with a buddy and the paparazzi are cheering for them. Um, we have their names announced as they walk down the red carpet. Um, we always have a lot of first responders who help to escort them down that red carpet. Of course, it's a prom, so we have a huge dance floor. Um, we serve them dinner and we um, have things all over the campus, including limousine rides, train rides, um, um, Rosie rides with Luke five, which you're going to hear about, uh, hear from in just a few minutes. Um, we have characters show up, all of the princesses, the Avengers, the Star Wars characters are all there. Little horses, uh, karaoke rooms, it's uh, craft rooms. There's just stuff for everyone to do um, to just make um, memories for that night for them. If I could chime in for one second, you do have to talk about the crowning. That's oh, the best yes. part of all. Yes. So um, the last 30 minutes, we ask, we, we close down all of the activities on campus and invite everyone into the main auditorium where we get to hear a message from Tim and Demi Tebow um, expressing that the reason that we're here is because um, we want to celebrate them for the kings and queens that they are and the way that God sees them in his eyes. And um, everybody will give a crown or a tiara to their guest and their crown king or king of king or queen of the prom. Wow, that's really cool. That's an extra special mm -hmm. special touch. I'm glad that you brought that up. So, looking at this event and uh, I mean the, just the huge event itself and the opportunity for all of the guests to feel like kings and queens and to have 
you know, a special buddy who's with them. 500 volunteers? You said over yes. 500 volunteers? Yes. So every guest gets a one-on-one -on -one buddy. So right there, you know, it's 300. And then all of the activities, of course, are being run by volunteers and all the behind the scenes things and serving food and all of that. So this event, we didn't say the date yet. This is February 9th. Yes. And so it's coming up soon. Um, if someone wanted to attend, they need to register online if they can. If not, do you take walk-ups? We will. We will not close down registration for our guests. We'll, we'll take walk-ups the night of. We love to know that people are coming because it helps us prepare for them and um, meet whatever specific needs they might have, uh, whether they need maybe an interpreter or um, special accommodations of some sort. We do. Um, we have a lot of friends with special needs who um, the crazy atmosphere can be overwhelming and so we do um, quiet entrances at the red carpet where we wave our hands instead of clap and we have a sensory room available for people who might need just a, a minute to calm down and get away from the noise so we, we do everything we can to prepare for them but we won't turn anyone away and if an if a volunteer wants to sign up to do this how do they sign up and is there a deadline what does that look like for preparing to volunteer and then the event itself so if they go to that website that we mentioned a minute ago, journeyefc.org, um, there is um, a, a button to click on for Night to Shine, and you can register either as a guest or as a volunteer. Uh, the volunteer uh, requires a background check where we put make the safety of our guests an utmost priority, and so um, there are some things that they need to do, like a background check and a 10-1 90 90-minute training. So they will choose the training that they want to go. We have, I think we have 10 options that they can choose from where they'll come for training just to learn about communication with our guests and understand the layout of the um, campus and know how they can help their guests have the best night ever. And I want to take uh, just a couple minutes because this is, I feel like the event itself is such a unique and special event and having so many people come together to put this event on. I mean, it, that in itself is really special, but can I ask that each of you that's here, just tell us just a brief reason for why this is so meaningful to you and you know how it has impacted you personally and with the nonprofit that you're with as well. So in 2017, when I learned about the opportunity to partner with the Tim Tebow Foundation, my son, Jacob, was 19 years old. Um, he had been born with a, a lot of medical needs and had special um, uh, learning disabilities and, and medical issues. And um, so it caught my attention, of course. And he actually got to attend that first event in Tucson in 2017 and experience um, not just the church celebrating him he had experienced that before but an entire community of people coming together and showing him how much value he had um so as a mom that was a huge thing i was wearing two hats you know i was the director that year and also a mom and i got to watch him be celebrated in a way that um, was just beautiful it looked like um to me what the church is supposed to look like and um and then Jacob passed away 47 days later. And so I am just committed to this event because I know the precarious um, lives that a lot of our friends with special needs have. And I know what a difference it makes, not just for our guests, but for the people who love them. Mm -hmm. It's a night where they get to see uh, God's love really shining. Thank you for sharing that. I think with Junior League of Tucson and Cinderella's Closet, we're really lucky because we get to help um, start the excitement. We get to help um, teens pick out a beautiful dress, accessories, um, all at free of cost. So we have over a thousand gowns at any given point wow. and we will host special events. Um, we will for this group as well as any other group um, who has students looking for prom wear. Um, we serve about a thousand students a year, get free prom attire. And it's really important that everyone has that rite of passage event where they get to feel special. They get to feel 
like any other kid, any other person that gets to have that special moment and on their terms and what they need. And we get to serve them in that capacity um, without families worrying about cost, without families worried about having to go to many stores or work with people. We have volunteers that will help them shop. Um, we will cheer for them and celebrate them when they find the perfect dress. Um, we also have opportunities for free alterations. Sparkle Cleaner is our title sponsor and has um, dry cleaned every single dress that we have ahead of time. And it's really, really powerful for us to ensure that every teen in Tucson gets to attend um, any dance they want and have that incredible moment. And do they pick the dress ahead of time or are they picking it the, the day of? They get to shop at our event. So we will set up a shopping event ahead of time for individual students as well as groups or schools. And they get to have a special afternoon or morning to shop. And often students aren't sure what to expect. Um, and our guests are, are nervous. A lot of the time they haven't had that opportunity. And um, sadly, a lot believe that they will not be able to find something that makes them special and we are so thankful due to the generosity of people in Tucson Arizona who have donated these dresses to us every single dress that comes to us has a beautiful story um, many of which have been shared with us about the prom or dance that was attended um, the memories that were had how special that dress was and so it's the ultimate to be able to pass on a dress that's had some incredible memories to a student that gets to feel beautiful and create new memories in that dress that is so exciting. And we have a couple more stories we're going to hear when we come back. We are going to go into the break right now. And if you're just tuning in, we are talking about Tim Tebow's Night to Shine. And we're talking with some of the amazing people and nonprofits who are able to participate the, in this and make it so special for all of the guests. So we will be right back after a quick commercial break. We are back. Thank you so much for sticking with us. We are talking to a lot of people today. We have a nice full house and we are talking about a really special night. It is Tim Tebow's Night to Shine. We've heard a little bit about the event itself and why it's so important to um, some of the guests on the show today, but we are going to hear next from Janet. So can you tell us a little bit about how you're connected and why this event is so meaningful to you. Sure. So uh, we were the first time for us there last year providing Rosie rides. And uh, our organization, which is Luke 5 Adventures Tucson, our mission is really all about hiking with those who can't hike themselves. So we're all about getting out into God's creation where everybody who possibly could get on to a uh, path that was possibly in a wheelchair, there, there comes to a point where they can't any farther. And so our whole goal is to get them hiking where feet are usually going and wheels usually can't. So um, we have a, a device that we lovingly call a Rosie. It looks a little bit like a one-wheeled rickshaw-like device uh, that we use to go on our hikes with our volunteers and all of our volunteers are called Sherpas. And so what we do for our Night to Shine is we go ahead and give shorter Rosie rides. And what I love also about the uh, prom is there's always a theme. So last year it was under the sea. So we made sure that we had our Rosies and our tent all decked out for an ocean theme. And we even had a mermaid who who was there who gave out little pens and things to um, the guests, which they absolutely loved. And we had um, some return guests. But one of the things that really excites me is you sort of heard about uh, the idea of getting a prom dress or a prom outfit before is the excitement. We want to carry that excitement beyond the prom. So what we're excited about is a lot of the family members uh, also come along and the buddies and they realize that we go hiking after the prom night's over. And so one of my favorite little stories is our very last um, guest, Ryland, has become one of our frequent flyers <laughs> who goes hiking with us all the time. So we just love creating those relationships. And also talking back to what Stacy shared is um, the families, the caregivers of these just special, special people that we get to uh, minister and serve and love on, um, it is tiring and they do need respite. And so one of the things we love about our hikes is the families gets to really have a moment of respite and just enjoy the nature uh, during the hike because we really are 100% loving on our hikers, uh, which would be the guests at the prom. And so we just enjoy that so much and it just fills our hearts. That's a really cool opportunity for someone. I mean, it 
just making the accessibility to the outdoors so I don't know just right there like that's that's a really cool thing and so if someone wanted to get to know your ministry or your nonprofit get to know a little bit more or if they were interested in volunteering and maybe taking some guests out on the Rosies, how would they do that? And sure. wh- what's your website? Right. So um, the website itself is Luke 5, as in the Bible, the gospel, Luke 5, but it's the number 5. So it's Luke 5 Adventures, all smushed together, <laughs> Luke5Adventures.org. Then there would be a backslash, and then it's Tucson hyphen Arizona. So Luke 5 Adventures actually began in 2020 in Cincinnati. And then they now have approximately eight chapters. We're the only chapter west of Colorado Springs right now. And um, so if they go there, they're going to see three choices. One is the uh, hiker application, which of course, anybody listening that has someone with special needs again, whether those are um, physical challenges, uh, mobility challenges, mental challenges, we'd love to have them be a hiker and have us go on a hike with them. Uh, They would fill out a hiker application. But again, the volunteers, the Sherpa, there's also a volunteer application that they would fill out. And then basically once they do that, I contact them within 24 hours and we get ready to go hiking. And how often do you have hikes or is that dependent on volunteers? That's a great question. And it sort of is dependent on on that because we are 100% or I have to say 110% dependent on volunteers. But right now we try to go out at least three weekends a month. Uh, We go out Saturday mornings or day. We gotten very popular as our sunset hikes. We do a sunset hike on a Saturday night or on a Sunday night. So for every uh, hiker that we take out, or as we say, we go on a hike with, We need to have a volunteer team of anywhere from six to um, about 12 or 13 uh, volunteers. So it takes a real team to go on the hike. And how many of the Rosies do you have available? Right now we uh, have two Rosies and we've just found one on uh, eBay. (laughs) So we're buying another one because the actual um, device itself runs about uh, $7,000. So we are 100% donations. And so we're very fortunate we've been able to have the two and now we found this third one. So we're excited about that. And are there any special, I'm going to ask this question to all of you that are here. Are there any special items that can be donated to help with this specific event or to help with the nonprofit year round, what would that be? Well, for us at the junior at Cinderella's closet in the junior league of Tucson, it really is. um, We're always looking for accessories and shoes of all kinds. Uh, You'd be sometimes we're surprised at the shoes that uh, students pick that they want to wear with their beautiful gowns. Uh, Also, um, dresses in a variety of sizes. We really do try and make sure that if a student walks in, that we have a dress that's available to fit them. And are there any requirements for the accessories or for the the dresses or shoes as far as um, what can be donated or, I mean, the condition, they're used items or new items? Yeah, we take both used and new items. We ask that used items be um, uh, be clean um, or, yeah, nice uh, in in good used condition. Something someone would want to wear to prom. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's not something you want to wear to prom, it's probably not something to (laughs) donate. That would make a lot of sense. As far as accessories go, I mean, is that any kind of jewelry, hair things? Jewelry, hair things, bags, uh, shawls, any, again, anything that you might think a student might want to wear to a, a formal event. We, we've seen um, students get really creative with how they want to express themselves and their own personality. So it's been, it's been fun to watch. And are all the accessories and shoes formal wear or are some of them just something that's nice that they might like? So a little both. So there's definitely a trend right now where some students like to wear cute tennis shoes with their dresses. So they want comfortable footwear. Um, But we also have students that the higher the better for those stilettos (laughs) that you have available. (laughs) So um, we think that um, if if they're clean and really cute tennis shoes, 
Um, students really like Converse um, or Canvas shoes. Those are really cool. Um, but so are beautiful heels as well. Sometimes um, a sensible um, platform sandal. You just never know. So we we don't say no when we get them. And then we let our students decide. And um, every once in a while, we might have something that doesn't quite fit. But um, there's no accounting for taste and style. And, and all fashion has come back. And so we really, um, as long as it's in gently used and nice quality, we let our students have that. We're also very, very lucky um, that we as our sponsor sparkle cleaners is taking all donations through their 12 locations and anything you donate for cinderella's closet can be dropped off at any of the 12 sparkle cleaner locations they will dry clean they will repair everything that you drop off um, within reason and then they deliver it um, to our facility so it's ready to go for our teens so there's so many locations in town that's a pretty easy drop off place um, and they make sure everything is clean and and ready to go. And do you take men and women's things or is it mostly women's so things? So at this time we are only taking dresses or um, jumpers and rompers, things like that. We have not expanded into suits, um, but every once in a while we'll have someone that might have a collection of beautiful suits and we can connect some nonprofits that will want them. And so if you find yourself in that situation, please contact us. Our website is juniorleagueoftucson.org and at the top of the site you can click on events in Cinderella's Club closet. We have a beautiful video about what we do, how to donate um, attire, as well as um, how to donate corporate funds or personal donations if you so desire as well. And that's a really great landing spot for us. So, and is, oh, oh, I was going to say go for us, um, the donations for us really, um, we have to pay for gas to get to where we need to go, um, pay for permits to go into parks. Um, so for us, it, it, it might sound simple, but cash donations, um, which are tax deductible, are what really helps us a lot. Um, and also to keep up our maintenance on our, our equipment and things. We're very uh, thankful to Ben's Bikes. They are the ones that keep our um, Rosies in a good working order, which we appreciate. So, But again, the website that I gave you, which is luke5adventures.org slash Tucson. Um, oh wait, slash Tucson hyphen Arizona it has a place also for donations. And then for the event itself, for the night to shine, are there opportunities for businesses or for individuals who may want to donate something to make the evening a little bit better or to be part of this? Absolutely. So we have multiple um, people partnering with us, like uh, Rightway Heating and Cooling does all of the craft supplies for our, our craft room. Uh, Chick-fil-A sponsors all of the food for the event. And, um, and then various organizations will will donate items we, every guest will leave with a goodie bag of items so sometimes they'll give something to add to our gift bag um we have a lot of restaurants and um stores in tucson who will donate gift cards because we love to during the the prom the guests uh, parents and caregivers are also being entertained and so we'll play games and have prizes and so we'll use those as prizes for our our parents and caregivers so there's lots of ways for people to participate um whether that is you know specific oh there's a um the lions breakfast club joined us this year and they're helping to cover the cost of our limos and our um train rides so we just have a lot of i think over 40 businesses in tucson along with over 40 churches who are all helping to make it happen. Wow. This is definitely going to be an amazing night for all of the guests. And I love that the families and the caregivers are also part of this. And they're also having a special evening um, and just getting a little bit of a, a social time together. And just to be able to have such a cool event for so many people and so many volunteers and I mean, if, if anyone listening is at all interested, I definitely would recommend you go check it out, as well as all of these amazing nonprofits who are part of making this event happen. It is going to be a very, very special night. And Stacy, sharing your story about your son as well, I can only imagine that those pictures are just the most precious thing yes, that they you are could priceless. have. Yes. And so knowing the impact that that's making for all of the guests and their families is just amazing. 
I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Indie Realty and Right Way Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. If you use any of our sponsors, make sure you tell them that you heard about them on Center Stage, Nonprofits of Tucson. We'll be back next week. Thank you so much. <laughs>